Is your experience document? Uh, I don't have one. You don't have one. Forty girls come in and out of here every day. Only three make the cut. Do you think you'll be one of them, Arden? Yes. Well, let's just see the wall. You can head to the next room. Your first shoot starts next week. Next, please. That's nice, that's nice. Chin up. Look at the camera. Nice. Day. Sorry? These makeup wipes. I'm surprised I haven't wiped my skin off raw yet. It's Arden, right? I'm Alex. Why did they cover them up? They hate them. Tommy, why would you ruin such a beautiful body with scribbles? I guess they just wanted a blank sheet. Well, I think they look pretty. Well, it doesn't matter what you think. This is my third time working for Zachariah, and only his opinion matters. But you'd know that better than anyone here, wouldn't you? What do you mean? You're fucking him. You must be. Zachariah does not take in inexperienced kids. How old are you really? Come on, I'm not gonna tell. I turned 16 a couple of months ago. <laughs> Shit. A high school dropout. Her pics just keep getting younger and younger every year. What? This industry is selective, but you've got what they want. That naivety and innocence, I can see it in your eyes. You just don't get that same shit with the girls that have been doing this their whole lives. Why are you still modeling? Walking into a room and being the center of attention, it's what every girl wants, right? It's definitely what you want. But you're untalented, probably skilled at jack shit. But you are pretty, and you can definitely make money off that. But this industry will ruin you. They're gonna bring out the absolute worst in you. Tear you to shreds. 
We're all fucked here, slaves to the numbers, 25 and 35, 35 inch bust, 25 inch waist, 35 inch hips. The measurements of an ideal model. But once your edges start to bend and rip, they'll just throw you away. Replace you with another girl that looks exactly like you. You'll be fed your first cigarette, and then your second, and your third. You'll spend your days counting and counting, memorising number after number, until eventually you find yourself searching up the calories in a fucking breath mint. You'll learn to start shoving coins in your underwear before you visit your GP because you know she's going to ask to weigh you. You'll spend hours cleaning up the food that missed the toilet, soaking your tiles with bleach to get rid of the stench of yesterday's dinner. Your teeth will start to rot and you'll find dead clumps of your hair all over your house. This shit is not normal. You'll memorize all the lies you could tell, all the excuses as to why your lunch has been replaced with cotton balls, why you can't make it to your sister's birthday, why you won't eat with your family on Christmas day. Sorry, I'm feeling sick. I just had a huge breakfast. But it's worth it, right? Because then you can say, hey, look, mum, I finally made it on page three. didn't you?